Hi guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. This video is on Team of the Year packs. Before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our road to 1,000 subscribers. We're on 789 subscribers right now. We're absolutely smashing it. So if we can get to that 1,000 mark, it will be unbelievable. And obviously the content is just going to keep rolling from there. It slowed up a bit lately, but hoping to get kind of a bit more going soon. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited packs for team of the year and the best way to grind them. So we've got 21 packs at the moment. I'll probably go over everything in this and then maybe record kind of the pack separate. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet, but you could wait till Thursday. And that at that point, every card's gonna be there. The whole team, uh, the whole team of the year is gonna be in the pack. So that's probably the best time to do it. But for the sake of the video, we'll go through. Right, so personal opinion, the best packs to do at the moment are Bundesliga and Premier League. Um, reason being is the Premier League upgrades take very little to do. Right, so you've got the pre premium Premier League and you've got the Premier League. Personally, I think the best thing to do is go gold upgrade and do the non-res into this. But this is a new method on what we kind of done before other than gold upgrade method or bronze pack method into it. So you can bronze pack your way up um, until you can get 11 gold rares and put them into the upgrade pack and then get the premium upgrade and go from there. But I think with a little bit of coins invested, you could actually do all right here. So what you can do at the moment is buy yourself to start 11 gold rares. So probably 900. What are they going on bid is the question, I suppose. Right, let's just see if we can... I reckon 750 on bid, we're going to be winning a few here. You probably win at a few, a little lower price. It's probably not a bad trading method, to be fair. Okay, yeah, there's definitely, definitely cards to be won here on bid. Um, and I'll show you, I suppose, a little trading method that might work for you as well. But at the moment, we just want to win at 11 on bid. Um, personally, I started this by having cards in the club and upgrading cards and things like that so that was that was my route obviously everyone's going to have different methods on getting them but I think personally give yourself a head start go this way if you've got cards in the club odds on you do if you've been following kind of the previous methods this will be one of the better ways to do things right so you can see that we're winning cards in here which is good and we've got these ones just coming through now in the next what 15 seconds so wait for that we'll chuck them all through the club Bank them, I think we might get a couple of duplicates. But if you have a look, something to take note on if you're interested in making coins whilst doing this. Um, the cheapest gold rare, 800 they're selling instantly. So if you're picking up at 700, 850 they're going instantly, 900 within five minutes. So at the moment, rares are selling at 900 a pop. That's unbelievable. <laughs> What's the... At 900, Jesus. So if you're picking up at 700, selling at 900, you're making yourself at least 150 coins a card. You could smash that. You could grind through that easy. Um, get a lot of cards in very quickly. As you saw, we actually got quite a few in there relatively quickly. But uh, it is what it is. So, the best thing for you to do, you can see here we've got a bunch of packs already grinded. But if you go on to the squad building method, once you've bought 11 cards, you go on to your favourites and you could go premium Premier League upgrade. I'd advise doing this to start, I reckon, a few times. If you grind out, for example, 10 of these, this method will roll for a while then. Uh, or uh, it should roll for a while. So if you go gold rare, I'm just going to go low to high. Chuck these in. Should be able to get the XP, leaving Alan St. Maximan there. Because he's just one of the cards we got in the club. Chuck any spares we got on the bench in case we need a bit of chemistry. I hope we didn't put a centre mid in, so there you go. And then if you have, you should be able to, should be in the main word, be able to jiggle most players around to get a bit of XP rolling. Um, so for example, whacking another striker in. Swapping the cam out to match that on cam. That's not doing anything for anyone. Right mid. Actually playing him right mid. What we got here? OK. 
Okay, so we need 10 more chem. Oh, wow. We've uh, actually done quite poorly, really, in the, in the player selection here. What do we need? What else? Do we have anything else on the... I can happily get rid of some 82s. Realistically, the Premier League ones I'd probably rather keep. Oh, how's that actually resulted in chemistry? Okay, right. There we go. So Kramaric. You get a bit of chem there at left back. There you go, 45 chem. Submit that off. Off they go. Get yourself your Premier League upgrade pack. Right, so this is where the grinding side of it starts. I've got 22 packs. I've got a bunch of the normal lower tier ones as well, the three player packs, um, just because of a grind amount and then kind of clocked a bit later. It's probably the wrong move. So what you do is you open up premium Premier League pack. In this pack, I can't remember exactly the amount of cards you get. Um, that was boards, wasn't it? I just skip boards. Result. We get a Tiago. Um, so, firstly, you're going to get high rated fodder, which is always helpful. Secondly, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine commons and three rares. So, with the commons, you're only three common cards off an upgrade pack or using them for the like, League SBC, for example. Just double check, there's never, never a trade chuck in there. Um, but. What my view is, is if you can go through and open up a bunch of these, you're going to stack the club up with more, at which point you can do gold upgrade packs with the common cards, and then put the common cards into the League SBCs. How have we got Ruben Nevers again? Back-to-back -back Ruben Nevers. Um, but very few duplicates. Right, so at this point, you hit a duplicate. You go along, you go to your squad building challenge, and you go favourites, and then, right, so you, you've got a choice here. You can either do the Premier League upgrade where you're just getting um, upgrades from that, or the gold upgrade pack. Personally, I feel like the gold upgrade pack's probably the better route here. So you just go gold rare, rated low to high, and any gold rares you've got, you can just chuck through. Oh. And obviously, because the majority are going to be the same league, at first it might take you a while if you've got stuff already in the club. Um... But, all in all, you should, theoretically, see this get a lot easier. Oh, what if we do that? Swap them round. There we go, 45 came. Then you get gold upgrade back. That's never has gone. The commons, what you can do. Oh no, I've just realised what I've done. I've just done a gold upgrade with rare cards. Haven't I? I did. I did a gold upgrade with rare cards. Then moments happen. <laughs> when you've been looking into ideas and things to do. But all you've got to do is go in and chuck your commons into a gold upgrade like this. Well, we'll have a spare, a spare one now. Um, submit them off. If you're looking to do the league SBCs, this is going to pack them out massively. So you've obviously got just the Premier League cards coming in, so you can probably smash out the Premier League SBC relatively quickly. Um, but for me right now, I haven't really got interest. Well, I do. I probably will kind of off-stream, in a sense, look to grind that through. What we want to do is anything non-Premier League, just replace here with Premier League. Because, realistically... The more Premier League cards we can get in this, the better the chemistry is going to go and the quicker it's going to rise up. So, there we go. That's that gone. Okay. That should have sorted the duplicates. I can't believe I put the gold rares through. That's so annoying. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got your two rare gold player packs here. Um, open these up, basically. Chuck the gold rares into the club. If it's not board, if it's not a wall cut, realistically, I'm skipping at the moment. I don't think there's anything boards that I'd be that hyped about getting now. Um, I don't think there is anything. Walkouts, obviously, main thing we're looking for as a team of the year. Um, but just to speed the grind up, obviously, we're just chucking through. Right, 
what I'm going to do... Oh, it's a walkout. Oh my god, I thought it was. I thought it was one then. I thought it was a team of the season. Or team of the year. I saw blue. I'd have freaked out. Can you imagine that? Just kind of showing people how to grind through packs to get a team of the year. Can't then pull in one. Right, so you put them through. And then you're back at your Premier League premium packs. So the per, uh, the premium packs, we've got quite a few of. So we'll just go through and open these up. That is Premier League as well. The blue kind of got me. I don't really know if there's a difference. But Chilwell. So we get UCL Chilwell. It's handy. Um, there we go. So a full pack of no dupes at all, which is good. You'll probably see more duplicates in the common cards. So you're going to grind them through the gold upgrades more often. But... What you're going to realise is the packs just keep rising. It will take you a few probably goes through to get to a point where you're really hitting duplicates quite often and grinding through and grinding through. Because you're just doing Premier League, you're going to soon see that that's going to pile up quickly. Um, as you can see, we get a duplicate there in La Celso. Oh, who's tradable, so you can go in there. And Yarmolenko, who's not. So you hit that duplicate, you go back across. Oh, I've got all the bloody upgrade packs favourited due to... Obviously, the bronze pack method grind. Um, so, once again, just go gold common. I've forgotten already who that duplicate was. Just trying to see. Oh, Yarmolenko. Right. So, Yarmolenko, you chuck him in, upgrade pack him. So, like I said, you can do this with the Premier League ones. But there's a reason I'm not, and I'll show you that in a second. Right, so you get another two red gold upgrade pack. Obviously, you get a duplicate, you chuck him back in the club. And you go two red gold player pack. So imagine if you, don't get me wrong, it's more than likely you're not going to be in a situation where you're going to get a um, mad amount of duplicates from the two red gold player packs. But the Premier League is kind of the one you want to grind towards. So... Every time you open these, you're getting three rares, chucking them in the club. You're then getting the two rare players back from the normal card upgrade. And you're just grinding back and forth, through and through and through. And it's something where, if you do it, for example, with coins, at the beginning, you could put... If you say, for example, what? 10k a pop for these packs. If you made 10 packs, that's 100k. Probably do it for a little bit less. Um, so you grind through 100k in, but you're going to be there for ages, going back and forth, pack, 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 um, and probably get yourself something quite good, or along the lines, at some point. I'm not going to say you're going to get anything amazing, but I think for me, it all depends if you're doing League Up SBCs. Uh, it was Catrone, wasn't it? I assume I've already put him in. Why can't I find him? Am I going there? He's there. But like each time you go out to do one of these packs, what you can do, so you can submit one through, and say you've managed to open three or four of these packs, you can definitely do another team. Let me just remove that and that. There we go. Gold upgrade. So, you go here, go common, and like I say, unless you're doing league SBCs where you're trying to collect a certain amount of a certain Premier League club, anything else goes through. So say, for example, at the beginning you want to focus on finishing Chelsea, you can keep Chelsea there and kind of crack on. Um, this is the bit where it gets a little bit tedious. Ah, oh, it's because they're not Premier League ones, I see, I see. There we go. Put them through. So, once you've done that, you go back across. You've opened then a couple of packs. You've got a couple of packs back in the two rare gold player packs. Chuck your duplicate through. Open the rare gold player packs. You're going to get less of the premiums back each time as you go through. But you're going to be opening a load of packs in order to grind them through. Therefore, getting more gold rares in return in order to open more. It's something where you can make this unlimited by tying it in with previous methods, such as the gold pack method. 
Um, the bronze pack method, sorry. That's a touch, isn't it? Random inform for free. If anything, that kind of causes a bit of a problem. But that's fine. So you go again. And you go again. And you go again. And you go again. And um, you can see that... Obviously, we started at 21 packs. Oh, Nicolas Pepe we just got. I've already done the Arsenal team as well, so... I think it's the only team I've done on the uh, the league SBC. Yeah, I've only done Arsenal. I've done one. Right, so he was a he was a rare duplicate. So at this point, you go to the Premium Premier League SBC, and you go start. I think we only can do this with any league, by the way. So if there's one that you've decided you prefer, due to whatever reason, that's not a problem. You can still kind of chuck them through. And in. We need to put Pepe in, don't we? So at this point, look for a Premier League player. Oh, there's some chem there. There we go, 45 chem. You submit off and you duplicate. And then EA do things like this, where it just completely freezes you out. But with the SBC, when you get to obviously putting these rare cards through, what you're getting back is another pack. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're going to pack insane things via this method by any stretch. However, you're increasing your chances of a team of the year, because you've gone for a select amount. Okay, what I'm going to need to do is, if you bear with me, if you get this problem, when you log in... So what you've got to do is you've got to log in, back out, load up the companion app or the web app. So I'm just doing that on my phone. Log into that if it allows you to. Here we go. You go squad building challenges. You go along to the Premier League. Uh, premium Premier League upgrade. And you submit the, the pack on your phone. And then when we log in, that'll be complete and we'll have the pack in our club. In regards to the duplicate, we can just chuck him straight in. At the moment, you've just got the midfielders in. So out of them midfielders, packing a team of the year in these Premier League upgrade packs, if you're going to pack one, two out of the three team of the year packs are there. Right, so chuck Pepe through. 16 packs to go. So once again, Premier League premium packs. In a second, I'm going to show you after this one will show you the um, why I don't choose to do the lower down Premier League pack. Okay, so we've got three, one being a UCL there. We've got Chilwell, Normal and UCL now. Um, and a bunch of commons. Then we've got a common. So this is I'll show you these other packs. So, squad building challenges. Uh, under my favourites. So we've got the Premier League upgrade. The Premier League upgrade pack is equivalent of a gold rare player pack. In regards to what you have to do, but it's only 30 chem. But obviously, if you're grinding this method, everyone is going to be a Premier League player anyway. But what you get is three players, one rare, I think it was. Right. So, you submit that off the same as the others. This is where I think it gets a bit... This is... It's personal choice at this point, completely. But you can see I've got quite a few of these Premier League three-player packs because I started growing them out, and then I kind of clocked that it probably didn't work out the best. But so you exchange eleven commons for two golds with the rare gold upgrade pack, which is two players towards a premium pack. If you put the common gold players into a gold upgrade pack, you get two rare gold players. If you put them into the Premier League three-player upgrade pack, you get one. Gold player. Don't get me wrong, it is Premier League and you've guaranteed yourself that league. So if you're doing the league upgrades, it might be more worth it because you can put the common players into the clubs and things like that. However, you do need to consider that you're putting you're reducing your amount of rares coming in. So if you're just looking to grind out packs, two player upgrade packs are the best way to go. Because what you can do is go two player upgrade, open them, then two players go towards a premium pack, and vice versa. And it keeps stacking up. So with these Premier League three player packs, we'll open a couple now just to show you. I'll probably open all of them in this video. The end will just be videos and right, so we get nothing, no boards. But 
So you get one rare. So we get Callum Wilson. So that's one rare, two commons. If you're doing the league upgrades, that's great. If you're not, and you're just growing out the pack method, you've just you've removed a rare from your kind of options you can pack. So you technically half the return on these common packs you've been doing. You're being, them common players aren't getting you the best return for premium packs. So at that point is where the gold upgrade pack's better. So we'll quickly do another gold upgrade pack and go from there. Okay, so we got rid of the duplicate and then we got these three player upgrade packs again. We've got a gold upgrade pack now at the beginning, which will open in a second. But you can, it, it should make sense, really, that you're just reducing your chances. How have we got another bloody shield? Out of all the rares, you pack the same one so many times. Um, so when it's a gold rare, you go across and you go to the premium Premier League upgrade, which I accidentally just done rather than a normal one. And you just got to hope that with what you've got, Oh, didn't mean that. With what you've got, you can chuck through. Obviously, the 82s for me, I just don't need them. There's none really that are going to keep me there. I don't put anything, or I try not to put anything 83 rated through. Um, just cause I don't feel it's beneficial. Okay, so I've chucked a, um, I've chucked the duplicate rare through the premium premium. So I've chucked the rare through the Premier League premium upgrade. Just opening the um, double gold upgrade pack, the two red gold player upgrade pack. Get a Liberty Door Ace card, which is a bit naff. But we've still got a bunch of these. Let me grind through these. I'll show everything I get at the end, and then I'll do an overview of the method. And that'll be it, really, guys. But is this a board? It wasn't a walkout, was it? We get a board. UA for Champions League if it was a walkout so it kind of freaked me out a bit um, but like you can see we've already got a couple of so let's go get rid of them but like I said I'll cut everything up and I'll put it at the end where it's all the packs and you can see what we got we grind again and this is the thing with this method is every duplicate you need to grind through so it's something that takes a long time it's not a short method we then get a two right up rolled up grow pack and the grind continues um, obviously pack wise with this it's huge I'll just skip boards. Ah, ah 84, Sirigu. There's also the side where you're getting high rated fodder along the way. So if there's an SBC that you want to do, I don't know what the SBCs are at the moment. That's boards again. It's gone really bright. I don't know why I wouldn't do an SBC that does that. Oh, Rui Patricio. Chuck him in the club. Hopefully there's no duplicates here because we've recently done a clean up. Nope, we've got another two. But. You can see here, Rui Patricio, Matip and Wesley. 84 and an 83 there. So two board cards in one pack, which is good. Um, but then two common gold cards need to be grinded back through. I've done it again. I've done the Premier League upgrade, which isn't a problem as such, but I have just removed a rare from my upgrade kind of process, which eh, it's give and take. But we're still at 15 packs. We were at 15 a second ago. So we keep going. Um, get rid of them duplicates. Two rare gold upgrade pack. And you can see how this is giving us more cards to keep going. So we're turning kind of 21 packs into more like 50. Am I doubling? I don't know if I'm doubling. But say I, I started at 21 packs. I genuinely think I'll be opening between 30 and 40 packs in return from this. Maybe even more and getting a bunch of cards for the club. And then it's just doing that over and over again. What my plan is is to entangle this along with the bronze pack method. And kind of upgrade along that way that was another ucl card another couple of duplicates bear with me so we've upgraded again we get another two ray gold player pack that's a wall cap i've skipped it oh it was an inform coop miners but that's the second inform we've got out of these two upgrade two rare player upgrade packs in what 10 of them maybe less five of them and we got Rodri. so that's a touch 85 and an inform walkout so that's gone very well actually so we're running to the end of the premier league premiums now we're going to be on the three player packs i don't anticipate much from them um but obviously we'll go for an open hopefully not getting too many duplicates basuma is probably the most common card i feel like i've seen recently um which is an issue in itself really the fact that you pack him so often compared 
but that's I suppose the way the pack weights work. You're going to pack kind of the bottom end cards more often, um, whereas you feel like there's certain teams that you don't see much of. It was Basuma, put him in, submit that off. And then we go back along to the packs. So we're at 12. It's not too sad. We've got another two rare gold player. We're going to get rid of all the premiums and the normals, go down to zero. I'm then going to grind out loads of packs and just see kind of what we get from there. Hopefully can get between... If I can get, say, 100 premium Premier League packs by when, I don't know. When's a good time to aim for? Uh, if I can get them by Thursday, Friday, that'll be great. Um, that was pretty naff. Two UCL rares in there, but that's fine. We probably have quite a few UCL rares to get rid of in the club, which will help us grind towards. But my aim is if we can get... That was boards, so we'll have a look at what we get. Brazilian. Left back. Oh, Tellers. I think I've already got a Tellers. Did I get rid of the Tellers? I did. I've got him UCL as well. Um, so now we're on to the Premier League three player packs. These shouldn't take long to grind through or get through the majority of. Um, we're not going to get many ball counts, if any. We're not going to get any boards, I wouldn't have thought. We're going to get some duplicate commons though, because why wouldn't you? Who were they? That was West Ham and West Brom. Okay. So let me have a quick look here actually at the squad builders. Uh, at the league SBC there's a Premier League league SBC so if we go in for example to Aston Villa and we go Premier League Aston Villa so we've got four Aston Villa players two Brighton we have been burning them through this is where the problem lies like Chelsea are actually doing very well on that's probably one we'd be able to complete pretty quickly I forgot Mason Mount got the upgrade shows how much I've been playing that's a nice looking card, isn't it? Oh, if we go for another round, they're going to be doing well. Um, but you can see that the, the cards are starting to stack up for certain clubs anyway. Um, and if you keep in mind what clubs they are, you could say each run through, you're going to focus on two, three clubs. So you could say, right, so Arsenal's complete. So all Arsenal cards can go through the upgrade again. Um, or... And then you go and complete the Chelsea one. You go, right, then all the Chelsea and Arsenal can go through. And you pick another team. Like a really common team, obviously, you're packing at the moment is Brighton. You can kind of build them last or see what ones you're getting more common and get rid of them. Um, and it's just playing, being as sensible as you can with it. But you should be able to complete that SBC in quite good time. Um, obviously, like I said, what I'm going to try and do is get rid of or build as many upgrade packs as possible. I've forgotten who the other person was. If I see his face, will it help? I know what we can do. We'll build one, and then we'll build the other, and it will leave us with one... Oh, I've done a premium. I'll do one more premium. Uh, not premium, standard Premier League upgrade pack, because I've done it enough times now for it just to be the norm um, keep bloody doing it but ah oh, it was Johnston from West Brom that's who it was so like West Brom's apparently the hardest one to get so you want to save the West Brom players for certain um, I think mainly they're silvers so you want to keep an eye out for them when you're doing your grinds and grinding that through so I've got rid of most of the common cards there Oh, we did, we did do a two-row upgrade pack. And then we added a Premier League three players. I'm having a mare here, guys. I'm having an absolute mare. Not boards. Obviously, oh, Connor Cody. That's a rare, at least, from the Premier League to add to our Premier League rare collection. Um, but this method, all in all, is going to take you a while to grind through. However, you're going to end up with some decent cards. Right, so we've got... A duplicate common and a duplicate Minamino. So now we have another Premier League premium pack. And what we'll do is obviously just chuck this through, open this up. No walkout. 
I don't think we've had a single walkout so far from these packs, which isn't good showing. But obviously, there's only a few you can get in the Premier League. Um, but we're stacking the club once again with more commons. So if any of these are duplicates, well, at least we've got something to kind of rinse through. The lack of boards on these are unbelievable, which I'm not shocked. Obviously, imagine if we were getting boards every two seconds and walkouts, it'd be ridiculous. But it is what it is at the end of the day, hoping to get... We got Thiago, didn't we? That was quite a nice one. We got Rodri, we got two informs. So this is only in a few packs over a very short period of time, where I've just grinded these quickly out, and so you could see kind of what you get in these. But this method is going to mean that you can get a lot of packs very quickly. If you've got a lot of coins and you don't care for the game anymore, what you're going to be able to do is just grind things through. If you could actually build hundreds of these packs, imagine how long you'd be here. If I had the 7 million coins I had at the beginning of FIFA now, um, and I hadn't rinsed them into Icon SBCs and God knows what, we would be packing team of the year it's 100 percent and that's probably what i'll do for next fifa the aim will be just to grind out as many of these packs as humanly possible um it's one where oh we got bored who in the prem oh jimenez from wolves i think i already have him going to get difficult to do an upgrade soon. 84 rated, what have we got? I don't know what other SBCs there are here. There's these Premier League upgrades. 83 plus. An 83 plus midfielder upgrade, let's give that a go. Okay, so we're back down to the last three packs. We've got a double 83 plus rated rare midfielder pack, which I've just grinded through. Got another two rare gold upgrade packs. So we'll do the two rare gold upgrade pack first. Pray for a walkout. Nothing. Boards. Could be anything really. Brazilian centre back. Man City. Is that Fernandinho? Fernandinho, that's alright. 84 rated fodder. Um, goes into the team along with Yedlin. That was both Premier League. What a day. So, double 83 plus rare midfielders pack. Pray for purple flares. Uh, we get boards. Uh, Address a gay. Address a gay. Um, and then we also get Oscar. So an 84 and 83. That was naff. Wasn't worth it. So we got three last Premier League three player packs. And then we're done. Um, So, one more rare to add to the cup. We've got two more rares to come in. Two more chances at a team of the year in this. We ain't getting one. We're not even getting boards. In all honesty, these have been horrendous. I've quick sold him. It's not part of the method. It's just it's the last pack. Get that open. Probably get a duplicate. And the grind can take the walkout. Oh, who do we get Premier League walkout? English. Eh. Henderson. That's some very good fodder there, actually. Okay, so for whatever reason then my camera went out of focus, I tried to refocus it, it took ages and now we're back. Um, yes, yeah, so a Henderson, 86 rated pull, that's a really good one, especially for like Icon SBCs if you're looking at doing them. But 86 rated player, straight in the club. All in all, I think this method could result in you packing a team of the year. Um, let me know down below what you pack. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, as we said, road to 1000 subscribers, we're not far. Do what you can to help. Cheers guys, I'll see you soon.